फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू द फ्यू टॉपिक्स दैट आर मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द अपकमिंग गेट एग्जाम फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन ब्रांच एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम द टॉपिक्स दैट आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द गेट एग्जाम एंड मोस्ट प्रोबेबली आस्ड इन प्रीवियस गेट एग्जाम एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट एनालिसिस इट कैन बी डिसाइडेड दैट दीज टॉपिक्स आर गोइंग टू बी आस्ड इन द अपकमिंग एग्जाम्स ऑल्सो सो हियर आई स्टार्ट the communication system so the topic that is first of all which is very important is am pm and fm that is analog model uh, amplitude modulation phase modulation and frequency modulation so uh, the questions that is being asked from these topics are related to modulation index related to the power of the modulated signal means what will be the power of the pm signal given below like that this type of questions used to be there one more question that is uh, important in this topic is maximum phase deviation if it is being asked in various previous exams that what is the maximum phase deviation in pm in given pm signal or in given fm signal some questions are like uh, uh, the two signals will given it one in pm and other is in fm and maximum phase deviation is given that both of them are equal so we have to find uh, uh, we have to uh, check the results finally matching the options so this type of questions is being asked from this topic one more thing that is envelope of amplitude modulation very important topic this is using the envelope sometimes modulation index being asked that uh, using the envelope we have to decide the modulation index. index so uh, you have you must learn these topics bandwidth is also an important topic related uh, related to this uh, concepts am pm and fm in all of them bandwidth can be asked and it can be asked also that which of uh, in which modulation the bandwidth is minimum in which modulation the power is minimum that type of questions can be in there in the exam so we must learn these top these concepts of related to am fm pm and fm now come to the next topic that is pdf power and uh, probability density function and uh, of course this is probability density function and uh, the question that is related to probability density function is used to be like a pdf uh, used to be given in some form x form or like that and mean of the x is being asked x square mean sometimes squared mean asked sometimes variance of them is used to be as sigma x square that we all know is x square mean minus x mean whole square so this type of relation is being uh, asked in exam and uh, question based on this relation is being asked in exam so variance and one random variable that is very important for exam point of view is the gaussian random variable and we must know the probability density function of this type of random variable that is 1 upon root 2 pi sigma square exponential minus x minus x mean whole square divided by 2 sigma square so this relation is usually being asked this type of questions is usually being asked in the exam uh, related to this concept so gaussian ra random variable is very important for the gate exam point of view now we come to the next topic that is uh, random random process so in random process auto correlation function of a random process used to be asked uh, frequently in the previous uh, gate exam it has been asked power spectral density and auto correlation function uh, the relation between these two we all know that the fourier transform of auto correlation function is power spectral density and uh, some properties of auto correlation using some properties of auto correlation function and power spectral density we can uh, find out the dc mean value we can find the out the power ac power and uh, so on so these type of relation used to be asked uh, in the exam one more thing that is wss process void sense stationary process very important topic most of the processes that is being asked in the exam is related to this one also, uh, only and its properties are also very important that is uh, auto correlation function of wss process is uh, like even function and so many other uh, relations of this process is being asked ergodic process is also one of the important topic which in which of the following is the ergodic process this type of question may be in exam but it is not uh, so much important. important as uh, compared to the wss process so we must learn the wss process and its properties for the exam for the coming get get exam these questions used uh, may be very important okay now come to the next topic 
that is pulse code modulation pcm very uh, well known and uh, most of the time the question has been asked from these topics and uh, frequently by uh, alternately uh, it has been asked in the exam so we must prepare this topic and uh, what we have to prepare in this one is uh, the sampling rate of course we know that is an equation sampling rate fs equals to 2 fm or greater than this value and quantization error when we quantize the signal uh, on in different levels then and what will be the error that we have to decide so quantization and error is on another important uh, point of this topic and snr of course signal to noise ratio very frequently asked for the pulse code modulation so we must prepare these topics for the pulse code modulation come to the next top uh, next topic that is mpsk and bpsk of course there are so many other uh, digital modulation techniques that is ask fsk but those are not important for a gate exam the important topic that is for gate exam is psk phase shift king and uh, re related to that mpsk or binary phase shift king is used to be asked and what uh, is being asked in this this topic is bit rate uh, or symbol rate relation between a given mpsk probability of error very important probability of error there can be so many options and probability of error will be written and we have to find out which uh, for which of the following uh, the mpsk bit rate uh, error uh, rate uh, sorry bit error rate matches <coughs> so this type of question uh, can be asked in the exam so we must prepare mpsk bpsk and probability of error function for these two uh, signals modulation technique sorry uh, and now come to the next topic that is entropy very important topic and very easy topic so we must prepare this topic and what will be the maximum value of entropy for a given uh, binary symbols uh, set of binary symbols or signals and uh, information of an event uh, if any event is given that uh, um, and to for for that event what will be the information in contained in that uh, event uh, we we will have we will have to decide and uh, bit in bits the in what will be the value of pro, um, information um, that we have to also decide that is given by log 2p we all know that is uh, information given by log 2p in binary it is in bits so this is the information contained in if the probability of a uh, symbol probability of a event of an event is p then uh, its information will be given by this and in bits the unit of, of this information will be in bits Another thing that uh, can be asked is symbol rate and bit uh, rate relation. What will be the, the relation between these two for a given set of symbols and uh, related to that entropy and another thing can be asked. So these topics we must prepare because it is very uh, easy topic to uh, solve by using by referring previous year get exam questions. So every student I will recommend that prepare this topic because very easy to calculate as well and to learn as well. Now come to the next topic that is bit error rate another important topic and uh, very frequently the questions used to be asked for from this topic and very easy topic again it is so bit error rate for a given binary symmetric ch channels or binary channels even sometimes not symmetric but uh, so 0 1 transmitted 0 1 received uh, so probability of getting uh, 0 for uh, transmitted 0 and probability of getting 1 for a transmitted 0 so these are will be called transition probability so related to these this uh, type of channels the probability will be given and we have we have we will have to decide and find out the um, bit error rate so this type of questions used to be asked now threshold level detector threshold level detector means at output if we get uh, any voltage then uh, um, for uh, voltage greater than 0.7 volt if we are taking considering it as zero for voltage greater than uh, sorry for voltage less than 0.7 volt we taking it as zero for voltage greater than 0.7 volt we take it as uh, 1 so 0.7 volt will be called the uh, threshold and uh, this detected value will be given a threshold detector so this type of uh, concepts is used to solve the problem so we must learn uh, and do some problems related to bit error rate because it is very important for exam point of view and uh, 
also it has been asked so many times in previous gate exam now come to the matched filter very useful relation and a very easy relation that is given by st equals to x t minus t if any symbol uh, sorry any input signal is of uh, duration t finite duration t x t signal it is then the matched filter can be designed in this way to maximize its uh, signal to noise ratio so uh, this type of question is uh, very easy to solve and uh, in uh, one mark question most probably it is used to be asked sometimes in two marks also it has been asked so matched filter we must learn because uh, very important for exam point of view again channel channel capacity one of the most important topic again channel channel capacity very well we know it is b log 2 1 plus s by n so uh, very important topic for uh, exam and very easy to understand this that is it is bandwidth this is signal to noise ratio this is the channel capacity and it it, it gives the maximum uh, rate that we can transmit through a channel so these are the important list of uh, topics important list uh, topics that uh, may be asked in the coming gate exam and uh, on the basis of analysis of previous gate exam it has been found that 80 percent of the questions used to be from these topics every year so hopefully in coming gate exam also there will the chances that 80% of the question will be from these topics only so prepare this at least and if you have more and more time and you can do then prepare other topics as well so I'll come with uh, some other videos related to uh, other subjects and uh, this type of videos will be uploaded our on our channel so subscribe our channel and keep watching thank you so much